Hey guys, today I'm just making a tackle video, all the stuff I have in my tackle bag. I have a Bass Pro Shops like 360 backpack. It's a really nice bag. And down here I just keep my pliers and a few packs of uh, swim baits, like pretty big swim baits. In this side pocket I keep a wacky tool, just uh, wacky rig baits. In the other pocket I keep scissors and a uh, scale. And up here in this pocket I keep my favorite soft plastic, some power bait, young dingers, trick worms, gulp night crawlers, havoc baits, all the good stuff. And in this bottom part, you unzip it here, and you have four 360 trays. And in the top, you could fit, I think, six to eight, but a bunch of trays in there. So I'm going to spread all this stuff out and talk about it. Okay, guys, here are my first main boxes, four of them that are in the bottom of the bag. These are just my main boxes. First one is just a crankbait box for shallow crankbaits and lipless crankbaits and jerkbaits. Just got Apollo, Smithwick, a few jerkbaits, a joint minnow. These are really cool. They're rubble track down minnows, they're called. They're like two inches. They're really good. Um, lipless crankbait, KVD, Excalibur, Mizuho, Rattletrap, Red Eye Shad, Concordel, all kinds of stuff. Next box of my main four favorite boxes Top Water Box. Love Top Water. A few poppers, frogs, uh, like walking baits, walk the dog baits, more poppers, buzz bait. Booyah yeah, Pond Magic buzz bait. It's small, but it's really good. Just a couple buzz baits. A Strike King 3. Whatever you want to call it, three triple buzz, uh, live target frog, ribbit frog, and man's frog. Next box is the jig and spinner bait box. Just a bunch of finesse jigs, bucktail jigs, bigger jigs. This one has a trigger axe trailer on it, young crayfish, just all kinds of stuff. Here's some spinner baits. My favorite spinner base are the Booyah Pot Magic. They're awesome. Here's one of them. I have like four or five of them. Strike King spinner baits. Here's a Booyah Micro Magic. These two are for crappie. It's like one eighth, I think. Punisher jig. A few more jigs, like Bitsy Bugs. Then here's my terminal tackle. I just keep this in the bottom because it's the main thing. I just got four out swim bait hooks, three outs, a bunch of one outs. Kama got two wide gap. And two, I don't know, regular ones. I don't know what brand they are. Drop shot hooks or bluegill. They're kind, of, they're pretty small, so you could use them for either. Here I got some tube heads, bunch of ones with rattles and ones without rattles, like one eighth and one fourth. Uh, treble hooks. These are for like crankbaits, but I use them for wacky rigging too. I'll make a video in the sh summer, show you what I do to wacky rig. It it works really good. Just all purpose hooks I use for catfish, carp hooks. Bunch of hooks, swivels, all kinds of singers, Carolina rig, split shot, drop shot, and Texas rig, punch weight, and a few uh, steel leaders, and some more bluegill hooks over there. So those are four main boxes I keep in the bottom. Now I'll get back to you with the top ones. Now here's the five boxes I have in the top. I have, here's the deep crank box. I want to say something about these boxes. I mostly use these flambeau boxes. With zeros, they're awesome. Your hooks don't rust at all inside of them, and they're really nice boxes. The 360 size. Here's my deep crank box, and I have a bunch of spoons in here too, just miscellaneous spoons. I got a Rapala Refronter, a bunch of these Bass Pro Shops Tourney Series crankbaits. There's three inches. I have four of them. They're pretty good for how cheap they are. They're like two bucks. Uh, Excalibur. I mostly use Excalibur crankbaits. I have a bunch of them. These are really good. I these are my favorite. I like the fat free fry. If you can see that. Those are the best. I have a Rapala Fire Tiger colored. I forget what it's called. It's like crank and wrap. Then I have two of these Mizuo. They're pretty good. But my favorite are Excalibur. All kinds of Excalibur deep divers. Fat free, guppy. They're just the best. That's it for the deep crank box. Next, I got a tube kit. It's the Bass Pro Shops teaser tube kit. 
Sorry, it's hard to open this back. Uh, it comes with a bunch of colors. Pearl, watermelon, red flake, or whatever you want to call it. And these are just amazing. I've caught in so many different kinds of fish with them. Smallmouth, largemouth, rack bass, bowfin. Just so great. This is my favorite color, as you can tell, it's out. They come with, like, five or six of each. It's the... This is the best one. It's, uh... Green... No, it's... Yeah, it's pumpkin pepper chartreuse. I totally recommend go buy a bunch of packs of these in different colors. They're amazing tubes. That one and the black neon is great. And the green pumpkin blue flake is great. Just a bunch of good colors. So, they don't sell this kit anymore. I got it a few years ago, but it's been super great. I use them all the time. They're about almost all ripped up. Here, I just got some power worms, a bunch of power bait stuff, and the shaky worms. These are my favorite, but I'm almost out. These power bait shaky worms in watermelon candy color. They're just awesome. And I don't know why I had more worms in there, but I must have used them up. Don't remember it. Up next, got soft plastics box. Jam packed with soft plastics. I keep them in different packs sometimes. I just put them in plastic bags. Over here I have all chunks. Chunks, trailers, finesse jig trailers. In here there's like really skinny. Let's see if I can get a good view. They're like really skinny crawfish. Perfect for finesse jig trailers. Chunks. Grubs. More chunks. Pack of chunks. These are really good. And... Texas rig baits, craws, tubes, bunch of miscellaneous bags of stuff, flukes, swim baits, drop shot, uh, two miscellaneous couple of swim baits. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Some more grubs. And two packs of these floating worms. These are really cool. I got their uh, Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series 6 inch floating worms. These things are awesome. I've caught a lot of fish. I throw these on a Carolina rig. And I got them in watermelon and nightcrawler. They're just really good stuff. I'm going to have to work on packing this up again. Just so much stuff in the soft plastic box. Last box, I just got trout and panfish. You know, I just got the... I pure fish for white bass and perch, so I just got the bigger weights. Then I got bobber, rooster tails in all colors. More rooster tails. Uh, beetle spins. A bunch of... Jigs with grubs on them, swim baits, more grubs, perfect for white bass and crappie. Um, some, all these are hand tied marabou jigs. I just, I make a ton of them, all different colors and kinds. Bobbers, jig heads, more home tied marabou jigs, just some random spinners, field and stream spinners. They're terrible, don't get them. Just buy rooster tails or Mumps Aglia, the rooster tails I love so much, but the field and stream ones. Don't spin right. These are called wiggle spoons. I don't know if you guys know what they are. I use them for white bass. They're called Weldon wiggle spoons. They're like the best white bass baits. You could tip them with a minnow or just leave them plain. They were some floating grasshoppers and small spoons, all that kind of stuff. That's just my panfish and trout box. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to see all this stuff in action. Uh, it's a snow day today, so I didn't get to go fish, but yeah, it's so much snow outside. Thanks for watching. Bye.